The 1040 window refers to the space on the map between 10 degrees north and 40 degrees north latitude where the vast majority of unreached people live who have never heard about Jesus Christ. A people group is described as being unreached when just 1% or fewer of the population claims faith in Christ. So, naturally, my name is IJ Rittenhouse and today I'm going to be advocating for the Christian missionaries who really need our help in bringing God's word to Japan. I'll be talking about what kind of needs they have over there in Japan, how we can meet those needs, and why this matters for the advancement of God's kingdom. So, missionaries do so much already in their vocation. In Japan, they help relieve people after their many natural disasters, or do spiritual house cleaning, helping natives get rid of Shinto Buddhist idols when they come to the faith. But what else do they need? Well, the missionaries in Japan are facing the same problem the rest of the country is, an aging population. In fact, the worst in the world right now. This means that pastors are aging and the people of Japan are always one generation away from losing a Christian voice. It is hard to train young people to step up in the church, especially with the rates of hikikomori, or complete social withdrawal. Missionaries there are also fighting an uphill battle for the heart of Japan because they are a careful, slow people. The well-known organization OMF, or Overseas Missionary Fellowship, started by Hudson Taylor, puts it that for many decades, missionaries and Japanese believers have worked laboriously to share the gospel in Japan, and from a human perspective, seem to be making very limited headway. Attitudes towards foreigners, especially religiously, especially Christianity, have been strong throughout their history. In fact, it may seem hopeless, but we have to remember our God can move mountains. Plus, there are many ways in which you can help missionaries spread God's word, even from the comfort of your own home. First and foremost, we as Christians can pray. Prayer is the number one requested thing missionaries always have on their list, and it's so simple and easy to do so at home and is free for everyone involved. We know that prayer is powerful, and John 15, 7 says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Secondly, we can give. Giving can look like two different things, those things being time and money. Missionaries can always use money to support their ministry, and even small donations that are given regularly can assure their financial stability. Giving time, on the other hand, can mean supporting them with a short-term mission yourself or even making sure their time at home is spent restfully and welcoming. I believe that if we all just helped a little bit in supporting missionaries like this, we could see the global ministry change. But keeping the conversation about Japan, we could see churches grow in places they are being planted, such as Tokyo, Sendai, and Ishinomaki. If revival can happen across campuses in America, why not in Japan as well? My favorite verse is Isaiah 24:15, which says to praise the name of the Lord in the east, even in the islands of the sea, like Japan. And according to Stephen Offit at the Journal for the Scientific Study of Religion, short-term missions help to create a thicker global civil society within Christianity. If you are ever wondering which organization you can join up with, the Christian Missionary Alliance has church planning jobs available right now, or OMF, as we talked about earlier, focuses on the mentorship and discipleship of its short-term mission volunteers and can use you strategically for their long-term visions. Whatever your plans for the future are, I hope you can see just how easy it is for you to come alongside and support Japanese missionaries. The missionaries there, and even the missionaries all over the globe, need our help, and we do not have to work very hard to do so. With things like Japan's declining population, numerous social problems, and historical stubbornness, Praying for our missionaries is the least we can do, and there are so many opportunities we have to give. In fact, right now at partnerhub.omf.org slash projects, you can find a practically endless list of projects that OMF International is raising support for. This includes missionary funding, short-term funding, other outreach ministries and projects all over East Asia and even in America. Even if you do not give, I urge you to keep Japan in your prayers and look forward to the day we will be praising God as far as the East is from the West. Thank you.